<laughs> where are you? Where do you live? I'm good, Joe. <laughs> I'm really good, thank you. Where do you live? Hey, we're recording. I live in London, but I'm at my friend's house in another part of London. So it's half term, so the kids are off school. So we've had a day out with the children. And I said, at nine o'clock, I need to go to the bedroom and do this. I need to work for half an hour. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Well, we really, really respect and so thankful for your time. Um, I'm you. actually... Honored to be yes. off. It's very exciting. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you because I think we're recording already. I've just seen, so that's awesome. Okay, so, so um, everybody, welcome to our Fast Track to SC call. I am super duper excited to bring you the speaker because um, lately I've been trying to scout for people that are really kicking ass in business. So I've been reaching out and asking other our calls and say, hey, like, who do you have in your team that you would really like to recommend to share with us? our international team YOLO because obviously we have um you know Lauren's very blessed she has team all over the world we have Canada all over America Australia will be joining some point I'm sure it's eight o'clock in the morning over there um and obviously we're in the UK that's where I'm calling from too so I'm Tasha Minter super honored to be presenting this SC call for you with the wonderful Ashley Terrett tonight who is currently an SSC in the business and she is going to share with us tonight um, about customer care, which I thought it was due time that we had a bit of a call talking about customer care. But I'm just going to give you a bit of information. Um, so before Ashley did um, Juice Plus, she actually... Before we she's start, a... should we mute, mute everyone? Because I can hear a lot of people's televisions and stuff. Yes, let's do that. How do we do that? Let's do that. They, we'll put them on later. They can all nap then. But I can hear people's kids, people's tellies. There'll be some Thank you, dog Ashley. Barking. That's really helpful. Perfect. No, 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 that's Perfect. really helpful. I'm really glad you did that because I couldn't really hear. Um, I was, I'm distracted. Yeah, so Ashley, before she... No, no, me too, so I feel you. Um, <laughs> so before she's first, so she's a mum, like so many other super boss mums that am. see in this business. She still am. She still, still, still am. am. She still is. Old Oh, so cute. Um, so yeah, I want. I really want you to, um, from the beginning anyway, off go before you even do anything about customer care. I'd love really to hear your story from from your own kind of mouth, as they say. Um, but obviously, <laughs> I just want to share with everybody that Ashley is someone that was doing school runs constantly, as all the moms do, right? And also running nine cleaning jobs, which is super crazy. She joined the business yeah. and hit A DD lot. in three days which is mad she went to sdd which is vf in america and sdvf in australia yeah. the following month and then she went to sc in 10 days she said she had to build her team over and over and over again yeah and it wasn't the team that got her to sc that's now gonna that's now got her to ssc now there's a couple of um, my loyals still there but the majority have gone and within we've got new ones Wow. So fascinating. I just really wanted to make sure I share that with you all as I introduced her. So I'm going to actually go ahead and share her story and then she's going to talk about customer care. I actually have to jump off because my phone is going to die and I need to get on the train. So if I'm not here, um, I think I'll be back. I'm only going to be 20 minutes. If I'm not here, then um, everyone just please open up for questions. Rebecca and Rachel, I'm looking at you. I'm relying on you two guys to have questions. Um, and I'm going to jump back on and finish off the recording with you all. But Good luck, Ashley. I'm super excited to hear your customer care tips. And Thank please just yes, share your story from the off go. Okay, so yes, I'm Ashley. I've been, I'm SSC. I've been in the business for two years now. Um, before this opportunity, I'd always worked full time and I'd been made, been made redundant. I couldn't get a job that fit around my family, my son. So I was doing cleaning jobs. I had nine cleaning jobs and I was a dinner lady in a primary school, which was a bit crap, to be quite honest. I absolutely hated it. And they made me wear a hairnet, which is so not a bit of me. Um, but, you know, I was miserable. I was hardworking, but I had so little money, so little time, so little patience because I was so tired. It wasn't a great time for myself or my son. And I didn't realize how sort of horrible I'd become because I had no time freedom. I didn't even know what time freedom meant. Um, and then my friend Lucy Wright, who's on this call, she's a good friend of mine. We've been friends before this opportunity. And she offered me the business and I just said, I can't do this. I was taking the products and I really had noticed a difference in my energy levels and I'd lost weight, but I still wasn't, you know, I didn't have enough energy to do more. And I didn't appreciate, I didn't know what time frame meant. 
sorry, girls, if you can, if you can mute yourself, so we haven't muted you, that'd be fab, so we can, can't hear, sorry to be an ass. um, so I, I joined the business, um, and it, like I say, in three days, I went to DD, and I couldn't, I didn't even really know what I was doing, but I was so excited about what I was doing, Lucy had made me so excited, so I just sort of, I, well, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, all I did was tell people how I felt about these products, um, so I started sh just sharing on Facebook what I had done and on Instagram, but mainly yeah. Facebook about how great they were and how I was feeling and how much weight I'd lost. And people was like, and it happened to be January, so everyone was probably feeling a bit crap as well. So they was like, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. Then the next month I went to DD and then I went to a convention and that really was a game changer for me. I just was listening. Lauren Slocum was at that convention and I remember she was like, just move out the way. And I just couldn't like it was just so inspiring to me and I thought you know what I'm going to give this a go this is something that I can do and I'd earned 600 pounds in the UK in the second month with my, really my first full month in the business from my sofa and I was thinking I'd have had to clean like a lot of houses to do to earn that money and I didn't really do much I thought I'm really going to give this some so the month after I hit STD again and then the month after that I got SC in 10 days um, it took me a year to get to SSC, but that's okay. That's exactly where I'm meant to be at the time. Um, I've had teamies come and teamies go. I've got my loyals, as I call them, Josephine, Shelley, they're on this call. They've been with me from day one and they will always be with me. I will drag it can screw you back if they ever leave me. Um, but yeah, you know, it's not been an easy ride all the time, but it's always been a great ride, even if it wasn't, you know, always the easiest to get to promotions or missing things or you know like when you sometimes you feel like people are leaving you and you take it personally that's just that's their journey and it takes a little bit of time to learn that you have to just be okay with some people don't want it the way you want it some people are 10 percenters some are 20 percent some are 100 percenters that's okay that's their lane leave them in their lane and just let them know that you're there for them and they can come back to you whenever they want to and just focus with the workers. So that's what I've done. Um, and yeah, I've got a great team of girls with me now. And this year, we're so fired up and we are going, well, we've been offered an incentive in the UK. If anyone gets to NMD this year, we are, we've been given an opportunity to be flown out to Thailand. All expenses paid. That you don't even need to spend your money. You just need a bikini. That is a bit of, that is 100% going to be me. So, and it also happens to be my 30 while I'm out there. So I'm putting it out to the universe now. I'm going to spend my 38th birthday in Thailand in my bikini because of Juice Plus. So I'm saying that now. That's what's going to happen. Um, so is no one's hey, questioning me. I'm just going to talk. Oh, Ashley, it's, it's Lauren. How are you? Sorry. Hi, I'm Mom. So thank Hi. you. So I had to drop somebody off at the airport. And I just really want to thank you for doing this. And um, thank you for asking me. I wanted to wear my cowboy boots tonight in honor of you. Oh, did you? To go, <laughs> but I left them at home. Gave you a little kick in the butt. So it sounds like Bournemouth really gave you a kick in the butt. And Bournemouth was the one for me. I watched you on that stage. I was like, wow, I've got a girl crush on this woman. This is what I want to do. So I, I appreciate that. I, you're pretty much a good, good girl crush as well. So, um, <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, so it'd be great for you to talk. I think a lot of people, and we just have a couple of people that just went SSC, a couple of people that just went S, um, SC. I know Brooke's on the line. She just went SC. From, well done. Um, from a, and then we have a new NMD. I don't know if Amanda's <gasps> on. But, wow. um, and then we have Sylvia, who's going for NMD right now on the call. And a lot of people that are new to the call. But I, I'd love for you to talk a little bit about conference and how that was a game changer because, unfortunately, your conference is exactly the same time as ours. Um, yeah. Sounds like you have a lot of fun and understanding the fun of building a business as well yeah. and like-minded people. So um, yeah. I'd love if maybe you could just share with everybody about, one, that that kick in the butt was where you said, why not me, right? Like, why yeah. not me to do this? So would you share a little bit with everybody and why – Getting to SC is that foundational position and how they give everybody the um, belief that they're enough and that, that, that this is for them, you know? Yeah. So. so for me, I went to the convention. I've been, the, I've been in the business a month and I went to the convention and I did walk in and think this is a cult, like this is not normal. And 
after by the end of the day I was totally evolved I was up dancing and singing with everyone else but what I really took from that is all of the people that have inspired me say so all of the people that I have thought I want to be that they've got the same products that I've got they've got the same 24 hours in a day that I've got so why not me they, we, none of us who are at the top of this business or none of us who are climbing this business have got anything different to any of us. The same product, the same 24 hours, so there's no reason it can't be us. So I thought, that's it. There's no special ingredients to getting to the top of this business. It's just hard work with the same products and the same 24 hours. So there's no reason you can't do it. If you want it badly enough, you'll make it happen. And I really that early on I was in my team that are very inspiring they got to the top and they built great businesses and I just thought you know they are the same as me they're no different they come from all walks of life all different backgrounds and they all of they're doing well because they want it so that's the key you have to want it you know you can go and spend money on getting your hair done or your nails done or go into the club with the girls and then say you haven't got the money to go to convention, you know, pick what's really important and conventions will change your business. If you're new to this, get yourself to convention. It will change your business because you will want it more than you ever realize you want it. So what, let me ask you a question real quick because I have to run into more. What changed in your activity when you made that decision? One, it sounds like that you made those conferences for you and your girls non-negotiable because that's where leaders are born. But what changed yeah. in your activity? You can hear a little bit in your belief, but what, like, what were the activities you started to do that you didn't do um, before? I think at first I was a little bit sort of, I don't really want to post that on Facebook. I might annoy my friends and family, or I don't want to be like annoyed. I don't want to be that girl that's always going about juice class. And that day I just thought, you know what? I don't give a I don't care. Those people's opinions are not going to pay my bills. Those people's opinions are not going to put me on a private jet to places. Those people's opinions are not going to take my son on holiday to places we could never have dreamed of. So do you know what? Sod it. I'm going to just do it. And that was it. I just thought, I don't care. If you don't like what I'm doing, there's an unfollow button. Feel free to push it. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. And that's exactly, that's, that was all it was. I just, my mindset changed. I thought, I don't care. This is up for the taking. I'm going to take it. So that's great because what you're really saying is what we always talk about, right? 80% psychology, 20% yes. mechanics. You Emma already knew what the activity says, was that you needed to do. Yeah. Emma Sneddon says this is a, right? Like self course in disguise. And it's so true. Lauren, are you there? I think Lauren's uh, signal's gone or something. She'll come back, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so what I was, you know, so there's certain things you can do to change your mindset. That changed it for me a lot, but there was a lot more work to be done. You know, my mindset wasn't bad, but this Emma Sneddon, she's a UK rep, and she says this is a self development course in disguise. Um, and, you know, we do self-development, affirmations. I've never done things like that. I don't even think, think I knew what affirmations were. Now, I walk around my house going, I am NMD, I am powerful, I'm a businesswoman, I'm successful. My son is 10, and he does his affirmations. He's like, I am kind, I work hard at school. They're really cute, but they're so, such a positive vibe to have in your home. And you don't realize maybe how not positive your vibe is in your home until you start doing mad stuff like this. Um, so I feel like no, I can't hear no one. So I'm talking to myself. Can I get a thumbs up if anyone can hear me? Oh, good, you can. Um, so I self development is really key. So Amazon do uh, an app, old Amazon Audible. It's like seven ninety nine a month in the UK. It's not a lot of money, and every month you get one free credit, which is a free book. And you can put it on in the car. So 10 minutes drive to school, 10 minutes home. And then again in the afternoon, that's 40 minutes a day of time you didn't think you had for self-development. And you could listen to, you know, Tony Robbins and Les Brown and Girl Codes and all the other things. And eventually this stuff becomes your mindset. And I feel that's, that's it took me a little while to get into self-development. I didn't really do it for the first year. Now I absolutely love it. Like I crave it when I haven't done it for a while, for a couple of days. Um, lists i write lists about absolutely everything like where i want to be what i want to do my goals my focus my vision who i have to speak to today who i spoke to yesterday so i can get back to them so you have to be organized as well so i do a lot of lists 
um, about everything. Vision boards, we hear that all the time in this business. And I used to think, like, I kind of know what I want. But it's not the same unless you get it down on paper, unless you see it every morning. I get up, I look at it, and I think, right, let's get to work. I want that. So I do it. Um, and it's not necessarily just like material stuff. You know, there are some really nice shoes and bags on that vision board, I'm not going to lie. But there are stuff, you know, that's for my family, like for my mum and my nan and my friends that I want as well. And that drives me probably more. Um, so you have to really focus on what you want. Um, you know, get it down on paper, write down what you want. Someone taught me a couple of years ago to write down 25 things that you would do if money was no option. And it's a lot harder than it sounds. I think I got to about 20 really quickly. And the last five took me months to get. Like, you know, it might be a house, a car, a house for your mum, a cleaner. Mine is to never wash my own hair again, to have somebody washes and blow dries my hair several times a week and does my makeup. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if I had all the money in the world, I would never wash my own hair again. Um, and it's, but 25 is quite difficult, but that is a good focus to have, to think, like, what is it that I really want? Private education, I know horses in the backyard, whatever it is that you want. So, yeah, it's good to have that sort of focus and really think big. Um, so I think as well, so self-development, affirmations, and affirmations should start with I am. My son will tell you as well, he's in the next room playing PlayStation, but I called him in now and said to him, Clark, what are the most two powerful words you can use? He will tell you I am, because the them shapes everything. So affirmations are really important. You just, when you tell yourself in the morning you are that great, you just think I am, you, I am. You believe it. You get up and do it because you are that great. Um, so, yeah, self type, self development, affirmations, focus on what you want, and lists. Right, lists for everything. Um, and time management, especially if you're new to this business. Like Emma Sneddon again. I'm girl crush on Emma Sneddon today, clearly. So she has a video on YouTube. Emma Sneddon's time oh, management. Time. You haven't watched it? Watch it because when I. Me. Business. I loved it, but it was so busy. I found it a bit overwhelming, and I found myself saying to my son, "One minute, one minute, everything's time. and that's not good for your family, your relationships. So, what time management? Make sure you take time out for yourselves as well as putting everything into this. You can balance it properly if you manage your. Time I better. just love. I'm in love with you. I wish I could reach through the phone and just grab you and just kiss you because I think that what you're sharing is you know we all know like those things to do but are we really doing it and you're talking about you know it's not the skills because you already know the skills to do but it's really that mindset part of things that made your huge shift for you so um yeah so what just, what would be all right. real, yeah I'll just quickly speak because i've had a few questions it's called emma sneddon emma sneddon's time management clocks they are it's on youtube there you go. So I just wanted to answer the questions they were writing. I can see them popping up at the bottom. Lauren? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just letting you guys talk. So, um, anyone else have, does anybody have any questions um, for her? I mean, if you can hear her, it's her passion, right? It's her passion that drives her. People drive her. It's like this morning we did a leadership call, and uh, one of the girls, I'm like, look, you're just going to get this. You're going to buy this product, you're going to love it, you're going to want to share everybody, and it's just that certainty, that conviction, that passion, that knowing that, you know, this is the, this is the core foundation for them, and that what, and I love, what are, you know, the 25 things that you would do if money wasn't an option, love that, I've done that before, I just, I haven't done it in a while, I'm actually going to do it again today, too, um, you know, so yes, my, a friend of mine, you know, a friend of mine, she bought, she was um, on a budget, and she bought herself, I did a, a, a retreat here this weekend, and this, uh, she bought herself a $100 little negligee, and it got lost. It felt nice to, nice to just go. I literally was walking in. To go, I just bought her another one, and, you know, and not worry about it. Just to be able to go, you know what, I'm buying that for my friend, because I know. So, it really is, you guys, it is a decision. Um, it's basically a decision of what you're going to do. I can't wait to see you walk as an NMD with your team, um, and... I'd love to just hear if there's any questions, um, any other golden nuggets you want to share as well. So sorry I keep interrupting, but I'm driving, so I'm, I pull you over so I can hear you. So. Touching on what you said, you said, you know, you know, we know the basics, but are we doing them? DMOs, if you don't know a DMO, is your daily method of operation. What are you doing on a daily basis? 
for you and this business and your DMO is key and things like affirmations and contacting the people you spoke to yesterday, writing their names down, those things should be on your DMOs because you kind of forget to do them otherwise. DMOs are really important. You have to do them all the time. And recently, Lucy Wright, again, touching on my friend Lucy, who I mentioned, she talked about IPA, income producing activity. It's all very well getting on Facebook and Instagram and scrolling through and watching a couple of videos of the Kardashians and that's not making you money. When you go on social media, go on it and do your work. That's your that's your place of business. Use it like your shop front. Make sure you make it pretty. Use it as a business. You know, have a scroll every now and then, but do what you need to do first. So it's income producing. Claire just said from my team, you don't get paid to scroll and you don't. So we focus on that a lot. DMOs and IPA. Um, and go live as well. It's such a great toll. And I've noticed I didn't, I've stopped, I was going live so much, I just kind of stopped doing it. And I, this week I thought, I haven't been live for ages. Like, why am I not doing lives? You reach such a massive audience. Don't wait to speak as well. No one likes that. Just waiting for people to get on. Just going to give it a minute or so. It's boring. Just start talking. Um, if people don't want to watch, they won't. Give that's their choice. They can leave. But do it anyway. Just press go. Don't be frightened. Just press go and waffle away. It doesn't matter what you're saying. But people remember you. Have you ever seen a dress being advertised on Facebook? You thought, I love that dress. And then you forget who sells the dress. If that advert comes up in a day or two, you're going to go, that's who it is. That's us. When someone's thinking, who's that Juice Plus girl again? If you keep reminding them who you are, they go, that's who she is. And they're going to come to you because you're always present. You're always constant. They can see you're, al you're always there. So go live. And when people hear your voice, they think they know you. So they feel like they have a connection with you. They might not like you. So they might go to someone else. But the people that like you will have a connection with you. You're not just a face, a little tiny picture on a screen. They know what you sound like. They know what you look like. They know what you do with your children or driving to the school. Or they know what music you listen to in the car. They feel a connection with you. So they trust you. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to take these people's car details at some point. Let them have a relationship with you. And when you go live, you do get into that area a little bit. So it's a really good tool. Um, you know, as well, your team, your team, your family, you will spend more time with these people than you actually spend with your own family. So you have to love them hard. So, you, you know, be, um, but at the same time, you can't want it for them. You're, you know, we've all signed someone up and then they fell into what we call the black hole. And you're thinking, oh, but you're, you was going to be so good. And I really wanted it for you. And it's really frustrating, but you can't, motivate other people i've never had to be motivated you know you you can be there for them and but you can't push porridge up a hill what, what do you call it oatmeal you can't push, push oatmeal up a hill you can only do what you can do um so you know don't forget about them let them know i'm here for you when you're ready but work with the workers you can you can only motivate people that actually really want this don't stress yourself and drain yourself trying to work with people that don't a 10 percent that's fine that's their lane they're happy in the 10 percent lane i'm in the 100 percent lane so i'm going to work with people in the closest lane today i love it i'm in love with you um so their homework sounds like their homework is to do a live and just press go i love that press their go. Homework. and what other homework would you give them which what sorry what homework would you give them? Homework. What homework? Write your 25 things down. What would you do if money was no option? It makes you dream big. Um, also, as well, don't forget your customers. Your customers put, put food on your table, ultimately. So you have to respect that. You have to give them the time they deserve. Don't be too fast to get the order. Spend time with them and look after them. They will become your reps. So your homework is to write your 25 things. Go and speak to your customers today. Hi, babes. How are you doing? How are you getting on? Anything you need? And voice notes, always voice note. Again, when they hear your voice, they feel like they know you better. They're more comfortable coming to you because they know who you are. Love it, love it, love it. Are there any questions that anybody has? Because I'm going to start driving again. I'm going to have to get off. Anybody? Molly is a yeah. really cool chick. Anybody? Molly, any, anybody have any questions? I love seeing Molly's post. She, she's a traveling nurse. But I was, I was thinking about it when I was talking yeah. Um, hi, thank you so much. That was so inspiring. Thank you. Hi, it's Callie. I'll ask a question. Hi, Callie. 
Hello. Thank you so much um, for, oh my God, I'm so inspired and I'm already taking action. Uh, so I'm going to see, what would you suggest, like who do I need to be or what is it when you went from an SC to an SSC, were you thinking bigger or doing something different? Because now the volume, like I need to quadruple yeah. my volume. I so. personally found that SC to SSC was the hardest jump. Poets to pay line, you have to kind of double your business. It's a hard jump, but so I think your I'm focus. Sorry, you're breaking up. I, yeah, don't make your focus your pay line. You know, organically, if you get more teamies and they're working hard and more customers and they're working hard, organically, you will it will happen. So I focus so hard. Oh my god, I'm at seven thousand. Why am I not ten thousand? You know, and it becomes unenjoyable. And if we're not enjoying this business, you're breaking up, right? Ashley. Am I really? Oh my God, that's so annoying. Can you hear me? What about now? So yeah, one of my girls just said recruit customer self-development. And, and I can't remember, I missed what else she said. But focus on your customers. They will become your team. Focus on your team. Help them to get to where they want to be. And organically, you will get to where you want to be. It's really, um, it's really yeah. upsetting when you feel like you're missing stuff. And... You're working hard, hard, hard. Sometimes your focus shouldn't all about being customer acquisitions. And if your focus is on your team and helping them get their customers and helping them sort of, you know, if you're inspiring them, organically they will do what they need to be doing anyway. So then you, organically your promotions will come. You can't do this on your own. So your focus should be your team. Focus on yeah, them. And yeah, and Kelly, I think it's, it must be your line that's breaking up because she's pretty loud and clear, Kelly. Oh, perfect. And it, she, you're just so you know that it's you, you're fine. You're loud and clear. Thank um, you. Yeah. So, and Kelly, you've done a great job with that. She's locked arms recently with a new um, front line with her. They put on five new distributor. You know, we're really big on making sure we have a good balance of customer and yes. distributor acquisition. So, you know, it, I think that she keeps doing what she's doing um, and not quite, you know what I mean? And really, she's, they put on, like I said, her team member put on five new distributors this week. So, um, they put wow. locked arms together. So, yeah. She needs to give us some tips. Uh, she's, they're doing it. So, awesome. Anybody else have any questions before we jump off? Because I'm going to jump off in a minute. Anyone? Hi. Yeah, yeah, someone's got a question. Okay. Um, so, first of all, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. Yes. Um, I was wondering, really, um, how many people is it that you think you might be sort of talking to every day about the, um, about the business or the products? And, like, not just through social media, but face-to-face. -face. I'm kind of trying to just gauge, like, what, like, level I should be really aspiring yeah. to work towards. Okay, so I make an absolute point on my DMO is to speak to minimum one person a day about the business and one person a day about the products because you can't really get that wrong. If I set myself a five-person business, a five, you sometimes you go to bed thinking, oh, I didn't do that, and it's demotivating. I don't think that's very good for you. So minimum, and I talk to anyone in a, literally a three-yard radius of me. If I'm standing in a queue, Somehow I'll have a chat and make a conversation about, I was in a cube at a bar recently and some woman said I had glossy hair and I said to her, that's very casual. She was like, what are those? I was like, add me on Facebook, I'll send you some info. So don't give them the whole sales pitch there and then, but you know, let them follow you, let them watch what you're doing. But yeah, try and speak to someone every single day about the products or the business and then tomorrow, hi babes, what did you think about that video I sent you? And then, oh yeah, I really liked it. How do you, you know, if they're not ready, you're now friends on Facebook, they're watching you, they're following you. But I find Facebook and Instagram are just the easiest way, obviously. But go out and speak to people because the more you do, the more confident you are about the products and the more confident you are about the business. So then when you go to do your own events, you can stand up in a room full of people and do it off the bat because you know it, because you do it all the time anyway. And can I just share something about that? The other advice, if you don't mind me giving something, it's better to go fast than it is to go slow. Yeah. Is there any name? If it depends on how quickly you want to get making, let me ask you a question. Who ever asked that question? Um, how many? How? What do? You, who's the person asked the question? 
First thing, I don't know which way to. So the question is, how quickly do you want it? You know what I mean? The question is, how quickly do you want to, what, what, what's something that you would like to see happen? Where would you like to see yourself um, six months from now? You know, and find out where they want to see themselves. If they, if they say they want to be out of their job, and they want to be retired from their job, they bring them $50,000 a year, $100,000 a year, they're going to need to get it. It's all out massive action, too. Right? So you want to um, get them out there, too. So it depends on find out where they're at. So where do you want to be six months from now? The I've made, yeah, I've, asking the question. Yeah, I've set myself. We have a, Bar a convention in Barcelona in November, and I have made a promise to myself that I'm going to be NMD on that stage in Barcelona. So she's going to need to talk to um, Woody Comstock and all the swap of people. Minimum, it will right. be, but yeah. So... I'm right. Like, and also some days you're at a party, so there's a hundred people in the room. So you've got a hundred people that day. Other days you're just in a coffee shop, so you might only get two. You know, if you make a point of doing it every single day, it just becomes part of your daily routine. So you, it's not hard to do. And it's not nerve wracking either. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. You were amazing. Tasha. Great. Somebody said. And then we'll be sending you a little gift so Tasha will get your address, okay? So thank oh, you for doing it. Thank you, Lauren. I really appreciate it. Thank you for asking me. Bye. See Have you as an NMD. Bye. Bye.